Ga Games episode 23 and in this episode I'll show you all the games that I bought since last time. We're gonna start with probably the most highest valuable most expensive game on my PlayStation 2 collection and that is Seno Saga episode 3. Right off the bat I paid 180 bucks for this game and it's crazy and I don't uh, suggest anyone uh, or condone anyone to do that because uh, it's uh, Paying such a high ridiculous amount of money for a game is crazy. Um, now, the reason I still did it is because I uh, I love to collect retro video games. I mean, if you watch my YouTube channel, you know that um, I like to, you know, add some games to my collections. And um, I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that I found this game for five to ten dollars in a good world thrift store like some YouTubers do, but. Um, it is what it is. This game is very rare and very expensive, um, you know, and the fact that I found it for 180, uh, I think it's okay. Now, if you watch my pick of videos, um, last year I did, uh, I bought a PS2 collection with SingStar games and I sold the microphones and the SingStar games and I sold a bunch of other stuff. So I managed to scratch a good amount of money. Um, so... Uh, that's kind of like what I did here and I, and I recommend it you know if you have games and you don't want to play anymore you don't feel anymore just try to sell them and get the stuff you really want because the stuff you really want are most of the time the stuff that always increase in value yearly so um, yeah that's what I'm saying so and yeah <clears throat> all right the game is complete uh, I bought it from a collector that I that I found that I know in in discord uh, we were talking back and forth for weeks uh, till we managed to agree on the price. He was looking for a game himself and he needed some extra cash. So uh, I think that's the reason why he agreed to this price. Um, so yeah, let me go through the manual. I haven't seen a lot of people doing some kind of unboxing or you know, going through, going through the, uh, the manual and stuff. So yeah. Uh, the old hex series and all the expensive JRPG series. So and yeah, this is how the back uh, of the box looks. Uh, if you don't know what Seno Saga is, it's uh, a very popular JRPG series and it has a turn-based combat system. And uh, the first game uh, was kind of like a, an official sequel to the Seno Gears game from the PlayStation One. And it has a lot of popularity amongst the JRPG fans. And the first game did actually pretty good. Um, it was kind of like a niche game, but it did so good that the second game was released also in Europe. Uh, the first game was only released in Japan and in the US. And the second game was released in Europe. And the second game, however, did not so good. It, uh, it's considered the worst from the series. And uh, it did so bad also in selling numbers that the third game that came out was distributed only with uh, a few copies, and uh, that makes the game already on release kind of rare. And uh, but apparently the third game is the best game from the series. And uh, you know, not having many copies around and being so popular, you know, that kind of like plays. Those are the factors that makes this game so high in value. I believe in eBay, the game is uh, around two hundred to two hundred fifty, depends on. Um, some people trying to sell it higher, um, but yeah, the, the usual price these days I think is 200 to 250 for for episode three. Uh, it's a, it's a very rare game, um, and, you know. And uh, so yeah, uh, the next two games are Dragon Ball Z Budokai games. It's Budokai two and Budokai three. Sadly, Budokai two is incomplete. It only has the disc. Um, but Budokai 3 is uh, complete. And oh boy, I do have some memories with this game. Uh, from all the Budokai games that I have uh, played, uh, this is the game that I played the most hours with. Budokai 1, Budokai 3, and then Tenkaichi 3 were the games that I was playing the most. Uh, I barely played uh, Budokai 2 and I uh, barely have played Tenkaichi 2. And uh, man, I really have some great memories with this game back then. In, in, during school time especially, that was a wild time because everybody back then had this game. And we were going after school to somebody's house and we were doing tournaments and stuff. 
there was a while of time we had beef with each other because when when we lost the matches, <laughs> we were getting like very wild and they started to insult each other and uh, that was that was crazy, man. Um, yeah, so it's a very crazy, but also very fun and, and very nostalgic memory. So uh, I think Budokai 3 might be actually my, my, my favorite. I spent it probably the most hours with. Budokai was, was always wild. All right. The next game is Gran Turismo 4. I think Gran Turismo 4 is probably one of the most impressive graphical games on the PlayStation 2. Even if you play this game on a CRT television, it looks actually pretty good, I must say. I actually like more uh, rally games, but, um, you know, Gran Turismo is just really fun. Um, so it's complete with manual and disc. And yeah, got that one. Uh, the next game is a Gladiator game, it's Gladius. And PlayStation 2 has some dope Gladiator games. Shadow of Rome, Colosseum, Road to Freedom, uh, Gladiator, Blade of Vengeance. There is this crazy game where you are, you know, you're riding in the arena. I think it was Circus Maximus. That was crazy too. And this is apparently a Gladiator game, but an RPG one. Uh, I think this is a turn-based RPG one, I believe. Um, yeah, I've never heard about this game, but uh, I saw the box and then I uh, watched some, I think a trailer or something, I was all right, let, let me give this a try. And I'm having currently like a video idea to do on YouTube, like, uh, you know, video about Gladiator games. So I will definitely try this out and uh, you know, come up eventually with that video. All right, from the old Gladiators to the modern Gladiators. NCAA 06, um, uh, man, like 2005 and early 2006, I was only playing sports games, man. I think 2005 was the was the peak year of sports gaming on the PlayStation 2. There were so many games uh, were out. Uh, like this game came out, I believe. I think this is from 2005 when this game was released, or end of 2005, but. Back then, man, we had like the EA Big Series with NFL Street, FIFA Street, NBA Street. There were um, NBA Live, I believe, and Madden were back then so good. Uh, Pro Evolution Soccer were always on peak. Um, and Fight Night Round 2. Uh, there was just uh, also the, I think the, the baseball game, what's it called? MVB Baseball 2005. That was, I believe also the best baseball game on PlayStation 2, man. 2005 was a crazy year and I was only mostly playing sports titles back then. And um, I remember that uh, I, I did not have the original copy back then <laughs> of this game. And I had nobody playing with me because uh, like people didn't really like American football back then or I didn't know anyone, but uh, I actually enjoyed this game. Um, so yeah. Uh, I, I've heard this is fan favorite, I'm not sure. I only play mostly this one and uh, 2004 a little. Um, but yeah, got this one. All right, so those were my PlayStation 2 games. Now let me show you what I got for the PlayStation 3. The first game is uh, another The Last of Us game. Uh, I think I have uh, showed you in all my pickup videos like four times or so, The Last of Us, uh, <laughs> the, the Collector's Edition, the remake, uh, and that uh, remaster game. And now I have it again, uh, but this time it's the Ellie Edition. And uh, it's in a very, very good condition. Uh, I think the, the digital stuff is missing and uh, he told me that the controller sticker was also not there anymore, but it's okay. Like compare this to my Joel edition. This looks so much better. It looks so clean uh, There was a price tag that I removed. So there's some glue stuff there on the box, but um, Yeah, it looks it looks fantastic, man So yeah uh, This one includes uh, has like a the sack uh, with Ellie's face on has like, uh, you know like a media book with the game and it has a comic and a, and a media book so Oh, fantastic. Actually, let me show you. Why should I talk so much and not, not show you, man? Let me show you, man. Uh, so this is the sack. So you, you open this up like that. And, 
And there you go with that. Oh wait, the controller sticker is there. Like the media, like the comic book is here on the side. And in the middle there is like, uh, you know, the this uh, media book thing. You know, and I have the Joel edition, and obviously if you have the Joel edition, like this this thing here is with Joel. And, uh, oops. So, but yeah, this is in such a great condition, and very cool, I like it. And uh, the art book. Let me, let me show you. I haven't, it's, it's been a while since. The art book is the same, by the way, than the Joel edition. I remember in the first game she looks like in her mid thirties now. I like and and now with the remake they changed with the original face, so uh, she looks older, mm, which eventually makes sense since uh, Joel and Tess were hanging out uh, before before the, you know the game. And they were doing some scammy things, I guess. So yeah, it's a it's a cool art book. Cool art books. So yeah, The Last of Us. I, I, I actually became a fan. Uh, oh, there's even a poster here. But I think this is just gonna be Ellie, right? So yeah. Um, and then it goes like, oh, like that. Oh yeah. Uh, I became a fan actually because of the second game, which is crazy. I think for most people it's the other way around. I became a fan of the playing the first game, you know, and eventually some people who played the second didn't like the game and are not fans anymore. But uh, I played the second game and I actually became a fan of The Last of Us. And um, I'm trying to get some goodies and some games from, from the series because, yeah, I like them. All right, so um, now... Oh yeah, there's another PlayStation 3 game that I have. And that is a game that I've been really looking for quite a while now, but I couldn't find it. Not because it's expensive or so, it's just simply I couldn't find it. It's Watchman, the complete experience. This one includes the game and the director's cut movie. And I'm telling you guys, you need to watch the movies. If you have watched the movies, uh, the movie <laughs> watch it it's uh, a fantastic movie if you like to watch um the series the boys on amazon check out the movie it's fantastic it goes kind of like in a similar a similar way it has a similar atmosphere it's uh pretty good and uh jeffrey dean morgan which gonna probably play in the boys season four i think is in this movie as well as a role there are also other actors that uh you you know the faces but you don't know the names and uh, yeah, this is how it looks like. I've got the game, and here's the movie. Man, Rosha was so awesome in this movie. And inside there is uh, some posters and the manual for the game. So, yeah, fantastic. So, uh, there is that, uh, th 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 those two posters here, I'm not sure you can see it, but. I'm gonna take them out. So yeah. All right. Uh, for the PlayStation Four, somebody was selling his Japanese games, and I grabbed a few of them. Um, so yeah, let me start. Uh, the first game is Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom Three, and uh, I have the game on PlayStation Three, but I grabbed this for PS Four. It's playable in English, by the way, and I bought it because of this cover art. Doesn't it look amazing, man? I was like, holy shit. This looks absolutely stunning. And amazing, I love it. Yeah, with all the characters in the, in the background, but especially in the middle with Wolverine and Reed, man. This is so amazing. And when you open it up, there's a little comic book as well here. And you see like, uh, like the heroes. Chris Redfield versus Captain America in the comic. It's just like only like a few pages, but it's actually pretty cool. So, yeah. 
Uh, it's it's uh, Marvel vs. Capcom is for me personally one of those game series that I really love the art style and everything, but I kind of suck at them, and I really hate it. There's another game as well, uh, that Dragon Ball game, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter C. I love the art style and the uh, man. I, I think it's one of the most beautiful fighting games ever. Um, but I really suck at that game, you know, it kind of sucks and uh, I, that's that might be the reason why the fighting games are becoming so accessible, you know, to make it to make it more accessible for, for us boomers, I think. Um, but to be honest, I don't like that. I, I actually I actually prefer when it's hard and you and you really have to push through and learn stuff, you know, uh, than you know getting some cheap tools already and some assets already uh, in the game, like the King of Fighters 15 where you can do a like a 50 uh, percent damage uh one one button combo you know but yeah um the next game is another fighting game it's called blade strangers uh never heard of this game to be honest um but uh, it has also a manual i'm not sure uh, let me know in the comment section if this game is good or not it's it's just a fighting game but I mean, it looks good, ain't gonna lie. Has some cool sprites. Um, all those other characters, right? Oh no. Oops. <laughs> Am I even allowed to show you that? Uh, yeah. Yep, cool art style. Uh, this looks like a Android Pokemon trainer. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Play Strangers. Oh, it looks cool, ain't gonna lie. Oh, there's a reversible cover. Yeah, I have never heard about this game, uh, but it has a manual, man. It's uh, a manual for PS4. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, got that one. I got a TRPG game. It's called Relay Rex. I've seen this game a bunch of times for retail price of twenty bucks or so, but uh, this was used and it's uh, costed me only eight, I believe. It's in uh, the box art is in Japanese, but it's playable in English. I mean, at least that the person told me that, that you can, can play this game in English, so... Oh, I'm not sure if this code is working. I don't think this code is still working, but... I mean, try it out if you want, I'm not gonna. Uh, so, yeah. And then the last game uh, for this Japanese bundle was uh, Resident Evil Umbrella Corps. Now... This game, I thought it's Operation Raccoon City. Uh, there is Operation Raccoon City for the PlayStation 3, and I believe this is it, but it's not. It's apparently like an online game, but not a good one, because it's uh, you play with uh, five Umbrella Corps. This is five Umbrella Corps online, and the zombies are somewhere in the middle, but they're just kind of gimmicks, and it's a super weird game. Uh, you. I, I tried to find players by the way and I couldn't. <laughs> so nobody's playing this game online. The server is still on. And uh, you can play this game also solo and it has some campaign missions, but it's it's weird because the zombies are no threat in this game. They're just gimmicks, you know, they're just there to be kind of like a threat if you if you're playing against other players. But if you're playing solo and you have to kill zombies, it's just no fun. And uh, it's just like a, a weird game. I sent it uh, um a picture to my friend and he told me that this game apparently has some value and it's also at the same time one of the shitty games i don't know it's it's a phenomenon like uh, godzilla you know it's an absolutely trash game but because there might not be uh, many copies around it has some value i don't know but yeah uh, i got this i guess for the collection about two nintendo switch games and the first one is atelier rise of two those legends and the secret fairy now I've seen I, I've seen some some comments that it would be not a karaoke collection if, if it would not have at least one Italian game I've I've seen that, um, but I play those games um, and the Rise games are the best series, which is also the reason why the, the the hype went from Japan and swept over to the to the West because the the Rise games are probably the best games. Um, I played them on PlayStation 3 and on PlayStation 4, and I can tell you the Ryza games are the best series and, you know, deserves the hype. Sadly, um, that hype spiked the prices for, for the physical games. I, I think a PlayStation 3 game, I've seen it in one of my used stores, it costs 70 bucks, and that's crazy. 
It's currently right now on sale in the digital market. You can buy the DX versions for the PlayStation 3 games, but they're still very expensive. They cost like 25 or so. And the, and the Risa games, I believe they're also on sale. And they are also very expensive, but I think like, like 25 or 30 bucks or so uh, on sale, you know, um, yeah. Now I have the first game on the Nintendo Switch. I would like to have like the, like the three, like the three the trilogy sets because I, uh, I, I like the, the Ryzen games the most from the Atelier games, uh, except PlayStation 2, I like the, the second Atelier Iris. I like that one the most. But uh, this game is very addictive. Uh, so, you, so you are attacking with standard attacks and you can combine that to special moves. And after performing a few special moves, you can switch characters because you have a character in reserve and you can you know change the character and that character you can you can continue with the special attacks as long as you have action points. And then you have uh, different kind of magic items and bombs. You can throw ice bombs, fire bombs, and uh, electronic bombs. And you can, when you throw three or four bombs in a row, you can perform a special move on top. And your companions, uh, they will scream like, hey, do a magic attack. And if you do that, uh, they will perform a, a special move as well. And the combinations in this game is crazy. Um, the second game I like it a bit more because uh, in the first game they're standing in a row like a Final Fantasy game uh, but in the second game there is just like uh, it's like a more of an aerial you know they're moving around and it makes the game less static I think for me personally Persona 5 and uh, the Ryza games are the most fun combat system you know I just really enjoy the most and it's very addictive and the um, the alchemy system which allows you to create new items, new weapons, new armor types. Um, it's it's super fun as well, and that's makes this game so good. I, I think you know, I'm not a big fan of the story. I skip a lot of dialogues, I skip a lot of cutscenes because I'm not a fan of this girly theme thing. But oh, the rest is just pretty fun. I, I like it, and uh, so yeah. Uh, the second game had a problem that well, it's more of a personal personal problem for me because. In the mid game or so, I was ridiculously over leveled already. Every new area that I entered, the enemies were running away from me. Even the mini bosses were running away, and that from from mid game to the end, every was was running away from me because I had uh, as rating weapons. I was doing 500 damage with with almost normal attacks. Uh, it was I was brokenly uh, over leveled, you know, um, because I enjoy the combat system so much, and uh, yeah. But uh, still, I, I like them. If you like turn by turn combat system and you're looking for a fun combat system, I'm telling you, you know, give this, give the first game a chance. If, if you like it, you know, you can try the other ones. But if you cannot do anything with the first game, then you should probably not start, not even try the other ones. Uh, but for me personally, the second game had the had the most fun uh, combat system. I just enjoyed the most. So. Tower Rise 2. Next game uh, is a game that I actually was looking for a PlayStation 4 copy and then I gave up and now I found it for Nintendo Switch and that is Return of the Obra Dinn. Uh, you play in this game as uh, an investigator that goes to the Obra Dinn and has like this uh, Noor theme and uh, ooh, I, like, I like that really. Uh, you have to find out what happened in the Obra Dinn. So Return of the Obra Dinn, a limited run game. It's a used copy, not brand new. Has a little manual as well. All right, all right, all right. That is it already. Those are my pickups for this episode. Let me know in the comment section what you think. And also make sure to like and subscribe for more collection of the videos. Thank you, bye.